So uh, we moved to co-governance or co-chairs reasonably early in our uh, journey as a challenge. And um, we initially had uh, basically a white male governance board and I was the only woman and we had two Māori out of six or seven governors. And that's an interesting place to start, right? And uh, when we decided not to have a kahui, which uh, lots of other challenges have a kahui, which is a kind of a Māori advisory group, we went, why would we do that? Why wouldn't we be treaty partners inside the full governance? And so that journey was a really interesting journey with my peers to the point where um, we, we mooted it. Uh, the white men led the way and uh, we had to change our, our constitutional document with all of the universities to form co-chairs. So that was just at the initial stage is, is around co-chairs and the sharing of leadership and then having a governance group that was fully co-governance as well. So we had a better mix of Māori, non-Māori, women, men. And so our governance group looks very different from it, what it did when we first started. And I think it adds a whole dynamic Aotearoa conversation at every single meeting. Um, and I mean, being a co-chair, I'm a co-chair with, with Māori as well. It, that sh power sharing and, and leadership sharing is our way of working in all the things that we do. And it goes throughout our whole organisation. 